Hi, I'm Hardy Spence, and we are big on rotational molding at Ash Industries. This machine can do so many different things. Really, all we need is your idea. Rotational molding is unique in that it can make hollow things, such as this float, a kayak, a part of a drone, that fancy cooler that you see in a store that you can't afford. All hollow things can be possibly made with rotational molding. And the best part is, it's accessible to you. There are many different types of rotational molding machines, and we have several here at Ash Industries. My favorite, though, is the big spider arm. In a big spider arm, we have several different arms on which we would mount your molds. We have three different arms on this machine. All three of them operate independently of the others. Those molds will rotate in three different dimensions. And as they're rotating, with the powdered plastic inside, they're rotated around into an oven. The oven is like a small building. It puts out three million BTUs of heat. The oven encloses around the mold, even while it continues its motion. We heat the mold, we rotate the mold out of the oven. After it comes out of the oven, after it runs through the cook cycle, it will come over into the fourth station, which is a cooling station. And they can cool under many different controlled conditions. It may be ambient cooling, where we just use the air temperature. We may use fans, we may use fans with mist on it. It all depends on what the product is, what kind of warpage we may have to control. And lastly, the arms rotate back to the station where the molds are open, the parts are removed, and new materials placed into the mold. We will take a pelletized material and turn it into a dust. And this dust is what we will load into the uh, mold itself. Well, then you heat up the outside of that mold. What happens then as you rotate this mold is this dust flows around the inside of the mold. It melts and as it continues to rotate, it continues to lay down another layer of plastic and layer of plastic until all the powder has been used up and you get an even coat all the way throughout the mold. The beauty of it all is that we can change the conditions on a dime. The nice thing about it is it's a quick and easy changeover in between molds. We can change the color, we can change the configuration. And every single one of these large arms will hold thousands of pounds of molds so that in one mold you may be making a cooler, in the next mold you be making a critical medical component. It doesn't matter. The machine will make just about anything we put into it. The advantages of rotational molding include a low-cost startup, low-cost tooling, very quick resolution to see what kind of parts you're going to get, and the parts can be extremely large or extremely small. All we need are motion and heat. Rotational molding in Ash Industries is truly a unique operation. You see, most of the forming we do is high pressure. High pressure thermoplastic, high pressure silicone, high pressure metal injection molding. But rotational molding is unique in that it is a low pressure process. In a low pressure process, your tooling does not have to be as substantial. You can have a thin walled aluminum cast mold, which is significantly less expensive, and yet makes products that cannot be made any other way. Foaming rotational molded parts can add a capability to your component that you may not have considered. Now this does two things, that either insulates the part in the case of a, an ice chest, say for example. In the case of this float, this must remain out in salt water for a long period of time, and the foaming will keep the water out of this part. Additionally, foaming can also add compression strength. In one case, a customer needed a unique rotational molded part that would be under extreme load. We figured out how to foam the part to meet that application. We added 1,400 pounds of compression strength per square inch in their part and turned a part that was not useful into a part that was ideal for their situation. Pulverizing is another specialty that we do upstream from the rotational molding process. Pulverizing allows us to do is to be able to come up with a consistent powder and a consistent grain size in the powder. That's the beauty of pulverizing your own material, is that by knowing your environment and having these pieces of equipment, we can customize your formula. We can make a batch of color, we can change it in between, we can run an orange on this run, we could turn around and have the next run made in yellow or possibly in purple. So whether it be an additive for UV protection, whether it be an additive so that foaming is easier, or whether it be an additive in order to make it impervious to water, we can do it here at Ash Industry. Downstream foaming, upstream pulverizing. It's incredible what we can put together.
Don't forget that we have five other manufacturing groups and can add to this rotational molded part the injection molded components that will make it work. In one case, we have a rotational molded customer that was desperately in need of many different processes. They needed a rotational molded part that was foamed and then would have to be machined afterwards to install electronics. That's the beauty of rotational molding, is that we can make an entire unit in one piece. In this case, something hollow in which you can put components and wires and electronics and other gadgets inside the part. This is certainly less expensive than making a whole cart out of stainless steel. The material costs are lower, the manufacturing time is quicker, and this will never dent or rust or deteriorate. So in one stop, they have the advantage of the engineering, the other injection molded components, the additional machining work, and the foaming capability that makes rotational molding work for this customer. I'd like you to click here today to get our white paper on rotational molding to find out more, or give us a call today and we'll get started. Because at Ash Industries, we're big on rotational molding.